What's up, folks? I brought y'all here. Uh, well, shit. Let me just start by saying I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I haven't made any videos in a while. I think my last video was probably my Thanksgiving video. I ain't sure I don't watch my own. I don't watch myself <laughs> a whole lot. <laughs> but uh, I'm making this video now because uh, there's been a lot of question about the original Blue Cup. Hang on. Okay, this is my promotional Blue Cup. This is the original Blue Cup. Big difference. Okay, so when you make your Blue Cup, it ain't going to have nothing to do with my Blue Cup. I mean, it's going to be totally different because obviously the size is different. Mine, mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, folks, what I'm going to do here is this, this video is going to be science, the science of a blue cup, I guess you could say. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this blue cup, as I usually would, on camera. But before I pour anything into it, I'm going to take all the liquor out and measure it in a measuring cup. Just to see exactly what is going into a blue cup. And I'm going to let you watch it. And then after we're done drinking it, we're going to try the breathalyzer and see exactly where one blue cup puts my blood alcohol level. Stay tuned. Sit back. Right here on Winter Ticks Channel. Science of a Blue Cup. All right, folks. The first thing you want to do, or the first thing I'm going to do, is fill my cup up with ice. All right. And then I'm going to pour in my liquor as I usually would, to where I usually would pour it to. Now we're going to pour that out into a measuring cup real quick. Let's see how much liquor we actually have in a blue cup. Let's see, there's 12. 14, looks like a pint and a half, one, a little over a cup and a half, it's looking like about 13 ounces, <laughs> 13 shots, alright, 13, 13 ounces of whiskey. And the rest is seven up or sprite, whatever you care to drink, I don't care. And then you just mix it up in another blue cup. Now, some of you are saying, What? You don't mix those up? Well, I've started mixing them up. Since I've started drinking them so uh, strong, I've started mixing them up. Now, now, that's the science of a blue cup. We know. Uh, the blue cup is about 30 ounces of uh, in volume. Blue cup will hold about 30 ounces. Um, fill it with ice. Then fill it most of the way with liquor, which is now we know it's 13 ounces. 13 ounces of liquor in one drink. That'll take me about an hour to drink. And uh, <laughs> can you drink 13 drinks in an hour? I don't know. This isn't a challenge. I don't challenge anybody to try this. It's, it's very dangerous to do. Okay. I am a professional. Don't try this at home. Number one. Okay. I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, throughout this uh, experiment of actually where it brings me to in my blood alcohol level, um, I'll probably step in, you know, to the camera every few minutes or so just to say some bullshit you know how you get when you go to drinking you might want to say some bullshit what the hell is that huh. I'm looking in there and I me take that off and see oh it's yeah, that's what it was anyway be back in a minute okay I'm back we're about this far we're about this far no hold on cut Okay, folks, I'm back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
kidding. <laughs> it doesn't take much when you mix them like that. It does not take much to give a smile to you. Anyhow, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm sitting here. I'm racing. I'm going to show you this race real quick, and then I'm going to cut this off, and I'll be back later. But let me show you this race. It probably won't take me long to crash and die, so bear with me just a second. All right, here we go, folks. We're towards the end of the damn glass. It's 420. So I would say that it's almost taken me two hours to drink this instead of one, like I originally thought. But I'm sitting here on uh, Facebook. I've been sitting here bullshitting with Vermonster. And uh, we're talking about mud bogs and stuff and different events that we were supposed to be out at, uh, you know, just shit that. A lot of y'all already know about mud bogs. He's going to Twitties this coming up weekend, and uh, I'm supposed to be in West Georgia, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it because my co-pilot, my actually my co-pilot, my driver, my pilot, my driver, the guy I'm supposed to be riding with, he's been a little bit ill. Y'all see him in some of my videos and a lot of my uh, Facebook pictures. Al Bednar, one of my buddies from way back. And I uh, hope he gets better, and I hope that we make it out to West Georgia Mud Park for their one-year anniversary party. But anyhow, uh, what? Get back to the. Just get back to the point. It takes two hours to drink one of these damn drinks. Now, before I do the breathalyzer, I'm supposed to wait 15 minutes after I drink a drink. Okay, to get an accurate reading, you're supposed to wait 15 minutes. That way, it ain't currently. You know, you gotta, I guess you gotta exhaust your lungs. You gotta clear out the, <laughs> clean out the chimney, whatever. I don't know. But 15 minutes, we'll do the breathalyzer and we'll see what one blue cup does to me. <laughs> like we already don't know. <laughs> Actually, a lot of the times, y'all, uh, uh, truthfully, I put on an act and uh, it takes me, it takes me a good damn blue cup to feel good. To feel most of the time it takes a good blue cup like that for me to actually feel good enough to uh make a video you know to get me talking because otherwise i'm just a shy kind of uh hermit type of person you know i just you know i get up in my shell what you would say what you would say i don't know if that's what you would say but that's what i say so I get a drink and I make a video for you guys and uh, I hope it doesn't kill me. I hope y'all keep watching. We'll be right back with the results of the breathalyzer in 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm wasting my... Now, I believe that more than I believe any damn thing. Folks, I don't know how long I can sit out here and freaking keep doing this thing over and over, but I'm about sick and tired of it, okay? Because I'm ready to make another drink. Forget blowing in this damn machine. Okay, this test is over. One blue cup, I guess, would be uh, accurate saying is... Uh, my alcohol blood level, my blood alcohol level is 0 0.20. All right? That's a good accurate reading. After all the times I've blown in this stupid machine, which is bought off eBay, it's a backtrack. And they're pretty reliable, but this one here seems to be having a problem right now. Or maybe it's me that's having the problem. I don't know. Goodbye.